Good morning. Welcome to Michelangelo stage. So we have Jorge Casanova and David Bordonada from Spain, who's going. They're going to speak about the 3D printing world. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Hi. <laughs> Hi, good morning. Thank you for coming to the Campus Party 2013. Um, we are going to talk about the 3D printer world and the evolution of the 3D printers uh, along the, the, these years. Okay? Uh, we are focused uh, in the RepRap movement, so uh, because we have released uh, our 3D printer based in, the, in this movement, um, we are going to, t uh, to start talking about uh, our company. Uh, we are from Cooking Hacks. Cooking Hacks is a um, it's a open source division of Livelium uh, who develops uh, open hardware for the makers. So why, uh, wh what is the link between the open hardware and the, and the 3D printers? Because the 3D printers need uh, a, a motor, a core, in order to, to run. So uh, the core of the, of the Repra 3D printers are the, is the Arduino or a clone of the Arduino. <coughs> In Cooking Hacks, uh, we uh, develop, develop several shields for this uh, for this board for Arduino and also for Raspberry Pi. This uh, microcomputer developed uh, last year by by a company based in, in the UK, and uh, we are focusing the community. So in in our side, we can we can see some tutorials with Arduino guides. Uh, extends uh, tutorial in order to build your own 3D printer, and also some examples for uh, for the community with uh, like models for the 3D printer or examples of uh, open hardware. Okay, and we are going to start with the yeah. presentation. Let's see. Okay. Uh, we are, as David has said, uh, we are speaking. We today we speak about 3D printer. Uh, we are selling the Prusa Iteration 3. Uh, we will explain this type of 3D printer. All this in, the info of this uh, keynote is in the web page of RevRap and Clone Wars. Uh, RevRap and Clone Wars are two movements that started. Uh, some years ago, Clone Wars the last year, mm -hmm. and RevRap I think it start in 2006. 2006. Uh, all the info and all this, th this kind of things you can search in the web page because it's all open source. Okay. In order to know more about the 3D printer, we can uh, talk about uh, our ancients uh, because uh, in the uh, in the past, uh, the way to 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 build uh, some uh, sculptures is uh, with a with a stone in row. You can uh, you you can make uh, sculptures using the subtractive manufacturing. Okay, uh, you can, for example, build your uh, bust of Nefertiti or the Venus of Milo uh, with a uh, with a stone. And now, now uh, you can use the 3D printer to the modern sculpture. It's easier because it's cheaper and, and cheaper. Uh, you can see the examples. You have got the same sculpture, but one is made. Uh, the the modern sculpture is made with 3D printer. Uh, we use the additive manufacture. Uh, we developed the 3D model in our com in our computer, and then the 3D printer make the sculpture. Mm -hmm. How it works? How the the three printer uh, builds the, these new sculptures? So we have uh, an example with uh, Yoda from Star Wars, mm -hmm. and uh, you can see that uh, the plastic uh, melts into the when when the plastic is pushed uh, through the extruder, it melts the plastic and uh, it lays uh, over the over a bed, okay, making some layers, some layers from the. Um, uh, sorry, <laughs> from the low to the to the top, okay, uh, and making uh, the figure. Okay, mm -hmm. you can see in in these figures there are some hole, some holes. You can zoom, please. Start. Okay, I don't see if you can see yeah. it clearly. Okay, there are some holes uh, between uh, inside the the sculpture because uh, with the additive uh, manufacturing. Uh, you must not waste 
too much plastic in order to build your your own your own sculptures. You can uh, use the program and set and configure it in order to use only a percent of the plastic. You don't know. Uh, you don't have to use the 100% uh, in plastic because it uh, the the weight uh, will be <laughs> a, a lot, and then uh, the waste of the plastic is is al also a lot. So you waste mu much money in in order to to do the to build the same figure. In this case, now uh, we will speak about the headbed. Uh, the headbed is the place where you print the figure. Uh, the you you build the figure at 240 uh, grads Celsius grad mm -hmm. uh, in order to to make the the plastic the material uh, melt melt and then uh, you have to put this pla this material in a hot uh, surface in order to avoid that it in order to if if the yeah. uh, if the if the belt is cold uh, the plastic belt right. bend, yeah. bend sorry bend mm. and and then the figure is not is uh, w will be grown mm. so uh, it, uh, if you are using a pl uh, abs plastic the surface must be must be hot so you can use a hot bed mm. and then uh, when the plastic melts uh, the surface is linear okay mm. and which is the process of weapon Oh, sorry. Which is the process to build something? Uh, if you don't have any idea about uh, 3D design, uh, for example, I, I don't know how to <laughs> <laughs> design something. Uh, there are some web pages, open source web pages like Thinking Birds, uh, where you can share all kind of models that you want. Uh, here, for example, our boss, like uh, Batman, uh, he wants a boost of Batman. We enter in Thinking Bears, we search for Batman, we have got two main things, like the head uh, to make cookies, <laughs> to make cookies, <laughs> to make a belt. And the logo. Yeah, or the logo, all that you want. Then you download the image and you only have to press print in your 3D printer and you convert your 3D model in a real figure. What uh, for for what can can I buy uh, a 3D printer? Uh, for example, if you are uh, an engineer, uh, you have many many things in your in your mind, and you want to to do it rea uh, into reality. Okay, uh, the 3D printer brings the opportunity to make all your thoughts into reality. Uh, for example, impossible figures like the first one. Uh, it's uh, it's built in the in the same plastic. There's no small parts and you must assembly. No, no, no. This only the one part and you and you will print the whole part in in only one one piece. Okay. What's what's more uh, to repair objects? If you own uh, a 3D printer uh, from RepRap, there are some parts of the 3D printer uh, that they are clones of uh, of another uh, 3D printers. Uh, you must use a, a 3D printer to repair the structure of the another 3D printer, or make, for example, if you have broken your uh, your mobile, your case of your of your mobile, you can repair it. You can create your mm -hmm. own case with a 3D printer, or, for example, for homemade uh, sculptures or, for example, some some plastic. Some plastic parts if in your home to be repaired. You can you can print it uh, with a 3D printer. With this, you, we, we can avoid a technical service. Yeah. Uh, we know that a technical service sometimes is very 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 expensive, <laughs> or sometimes you have an old thing that uh, this part is uh, has the technical service hasn't got the parts of this element. Uh, you can uh, print it and. Nowadays, you have got some web page with the most famous mobiles that you can download all and you can print it without any problem. For example, I have a Renault Melan, and one of the parts that broke normally is a plastic part in your set. In your set, uh, you can search in Google uh, Renault Clio, and it's the same part, and you can print it and you can avoid the price of 30 euros and you can print it for uh, three, three, three euros, euros. <laughs> yeah. normally. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
and which more uh, for small companies uh, who are developing some new products uh, into the market and they need for example some molds uh, one mold may cost around from 6000 to <laughs> for example 30 30000 or, mm. or more so you can um, build your own mold with a 3d printer in order to create uh, a small pieces and for rapid prototyping, if you are going to, to launch a new product into the market, uh, maybe you must uh, know uh, how it uh, can be shown or in order to know its uh, holes or if it fits into your final uh, project. So you can, you can make a rapid uh, prototyping, a quick uh, prototyping with a 3D printer. And finally, for hobbyists, for makers, from, for, for example, for people who attend the campus party that uh, has a hobby as a role play game uh, or they love uh, some miniatures of some limited edition uh, miniatures, you can build your own uh, figures for, for example, Warhammer or similar or miniatures for Star Wars or, or similar, okay? Or tanks as you can see in the, in the figure. But okay, we know n now we know what is what 3D printer is. But where can I? What can I buy to have a 3D printer? In the market, we have got many commercial 3D printer, but they have got a problem. Okay, they are easy to use, well, easy to use, but they are too expensive. Uh, in order, I think uh, the cheapest one is near 700 euros, but it, yeah. it hasn't got a good quality. But for example. This is the MakerBot, and it's near 1,000 euros. 1,500 1, euros. 500. Yes, yeah. it's one of the best of the market nowadays, but it's too, uh, too expensive. For example, this is an uh, HP 3 printing, and it's in 6,000 euros, the cheapest yeah. one, <laughs> and higher. So for companies, uh, for high, high companies uh, like Telefonica, mm. I think there's no, no problem to buy a commercial machine. But for mm. small companies who are starting in the, in the market, uh, maybe the cheapest one uh, mm. for commercial department, for commercial 3D printers, are not uh, sufficient for, for, the, for their needs. So maybe they can use a, a, an open hardware a 3D printer mm. in order to build their own uh, process uh, and their own uh, projects or their own prototypes and uh, calibrate by themselves in order to avoid uh, ex external cost mm. of the service or similar. Mm. Yeah. And with the commercial 3D printers, one of the, problem, the problems is, is that you can't improve the 3D printer. You buy and you have got it. You can improve them. If you want any, uh, to add other materials or something like that, you have to go again to the te uh, technical service and they change it. Uh, that's why we sell open source products. Uh, in this case, RevRap 3D printers. Yeah, the RevRap 3D printers started in 2006 with the RevRap Darwin. Darwin was the first uh, open source uh, 3D printer. And as you can see, some parts of the structure uh, are built with uh, other 3D printer, are plastic parts, okay? So the concept of the RepRap philosophy is to, to replicate this 3D printer. So if you, ha if you own a 3D printer, you can buy another one uh, using the plastic parts with, with, uh, with the 3D printer you want, you want mm. okay? As you can see, uh, the, uh, there are s s many, many pieces in the RepRap Darwin, okay? So the cost of uh, building <laughs> all of these uh, plastic parts were many hours, many plastic, and it's not uh, cheaper, as cheaper as uh, they thought, <laughs> okay? Mm -hmm. So then uh, they started to to improve the, the 3 printer wall, uh, the 3D printer, and they uh, released the um, the RepRap uh, Mendel, the RepRap Mendel in 2008. Okay, 
Uh, this, uh, this three printer is also open source and uh, they use uh, less, less plastic parts than the, than the Darwin. Okay? The philosophy was the same. You can create another, another three printer using the, this one. Okay? You, can, uh, build, you can print the parts for a friend or, or similar in order to create their, their own uh, their own 3D printer. And finally, Prusa, in 2010, developed the Prusa Mendel. It's a, a variation of the Reprap Mendel. It uses uh, less plastic parts than uh, the Reprap Mendel, and it has been very... Uh, okay. Uh, well, uh, it's, it is the most famous, the most famous, most famous, the most famous, famous open source 3D printer due to uh, there are a lot of documentation about this 3D printer. The yeah. community has developed all this documentation, how to build it, how to repair it, uh, all the things, how to improve it. You can search in Google Prusa Mendel and add the information of Prusa Iteration 2 and you can see all the info about this. Uh, this year, uh, Prusa developed a new 3D printer. Uh, it has got less documentation than the Prusa Intention 2, but we are trying to improve this. This is the Prusa Intention 3 with the cooking hacks component. <laughs> and you can see that uh, you use less plastic parts. The principal frame is an alu aluminum frame or you can build it with wood, with acrylic, all that you want. All, all the materials that you have got at home, you can build a 3D printer. Uh, we think that the only part, uh, the most difficult part to search is the, all the electronics. That's why we have got in our shop all the kit, electronic kits to yeah. build one. You only have to buy, to buy this, and if you have got the rest of the components at your home, you can build one 3D printer mm, very easy if yeah. you have got some experience. But <laughs> yeah, this is because uh, we in May will release this 3D printer because this is the link between cooking hacks and the 3D printer. Because we um, until May we developed uh, sen uh, sensor shields or communication shields for the Arduino and the the core, the motor that move, moves no. the reprap the repra printers are this this board this small board called Arduino so Arduino has a, a, a board to control its motor sorry <laughs> <laughs> to control its motor okay and then one for the extruder in order to push the, the plastic into the into the hot end okay Uh, if we want to see the the evolution of 3D printer, I think I have got here. Yes. Yeah, here. Here. No, okay. No, 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 no. Here is a small evolution of the 3D printer. Uh, we start in RevRap movement here in 2006, and the last update of this is in 2012. Uh, we can see here all the three printers, all of them uh, are open source. Uh, we can see some commercial three printer, but we can see the different types. Uh, the difference between all the three printers are the movement. Sometimes the extruder of the three printer move in uh, X axis, so other times in Z axis, and other in Y, in I. Uh, you can see here all the evolution of the 3D printer. If in six years we can see this, and if you see all the movement is between 2010 and 2012, what will, will happen in the future? We don't know, but we think that it's a new revolution that we will be, be able to manufacture things at home without any problem. Okay. And now we are going to explain the 3D printer parts. 
Uh, you have seen in the in the last uh, image a uh, 3D printer built, okay, and the, there are some special parts. It's basically a frame with the bed in order to move. Uh, in this case, uh, the y-axis, and uh, as uh, Jorge has told, is uh, from aluminium. There's uh, other materials like wood or uh, or, pla or even plastic or acrylic. But uh, we use the, the aluminium. It's strong and there's no problem with the head. So this one is the plastic parts, like the like the repro philosophy in order to clone the the three printers. This one uh, is the image of the electronic parts. This is the bed. This is the hot bed. Uh, as we have sa uh, said, uh, the, the bed, sometimes if you use uh, ABS plastic, the bed must be hot. So you, you must use this hot bed. It's a big resistor in order to put uh, the plastic in, the, in, the, in, in it with, uh, with, uh, with hot. Okay. And this one is the, this the ramps. The ramps is the shield that you must put in, t uh, in the top of the Arduino Mega, and it uh, drives uh, each motor. Okay. Has puesto la esquemático? Sí. Okay. Then we, uh, we will explain the how how it works. This one is the most important piece of the 3D printer because uh, it is the hot end. The hot end. Uh, the plastic uh, is pushed into the hot end to be melt, and then uh, in from this hole, uh, the plastic uh, the plastic is uh, lie lie into the into the bed, okay, making some layers and from the from to the top. And this uh, this hot end is called Buddha, and. It ha you can you can change this uh, this nozzle. So mm. if there are several sides, so you can print with uh, the size you want. And finally, this is the schematic of how the electronic uh, works. As you can see, this is the this is the ramps. The ramps uh, will drive uh, each motor and also the the headed bed. Okay. There are some connectors for the headed bed, for the big resistor to make uh, a, a hot bed. And uh, there is some connections for each extruder. Uh, in this case, uh, the 3D printer, the iteration 3, use four, uh, four stepper motor driver. So you, use, uh, you can drive up to five motors, okay? One for the X axis, one for the Y axis, and two for the Z axis because the the extruder, uh, the weight of the extruder is uh, too big, so uh, too high. So you must use two motors to to go to the in the to move it in the in this axis. And if you are using only one extruder, uh, you must use uh, only one one motor. Okay, uh, but you have the possibility as a this is a, an open source 3D printer. You can mm, create a, a new a new model of two extruders, and you can uh, use two extruders in this case. Why we, can you, why we, we want to, to print with two extruders? Uh, because we want to print, for example, in two colors, two different colors, or something interesting is to print in two materials. If I want to, to build m my body, for example, and I want one arm like this, I can print in the air. I need a support here. And it's better to do it with other material. If you print one material and other materials, they are different, and you can broke it easily. If you print them in the same material, you have to to remove it with <laughs> very with, with taking care. Taking, taking care. care. <laughs> yes. All right. Long words. Uh, following with the red wrap movement in Spain to see the imp the importance of this movement. We have a project called Clone Wars. Uh, it's, based, it's based in the in Star Wars. Uh, each 3D printer is a clone, and 
there are there is a model that is the Prusa, uh, the first three printer from RepRap, and then you are no nowadays we have got uh, near than 247 clones, people that have entered in the, our in the web page and have said, okay, I have a 3D printer uh, from other 3D printer, I want to uh, be in the Clone Wars project. There are other three printers. We have got some three printers that they are not in this project. But uh, if we see this, uh, we can see the magnitude of this project. Uh, for example, you see here, the we start with the R1. It's the first generation, generation zero, and uh, he it print the the plastic parts of R2-D2. <laughs> now it's there. <laughs> and nowadays, the 3D printer is R2 reload. Uh, what, we ha have, uh, what have we to do with the, with in this project? Uh, you have a 3D printer. You recite the plastic parts. I recite the plastic parts from Bordana, for example. And another number. I have to the first uh, plastic part that I print, I have to Donate. give it uh, free for free to other people. Uh, you only have to buy the electronics part. It's you. It's a big project, and in two years we have got in Spain near from two uh, near 300 three printers. It's a very important project, and we can see again the magnitude of this of the three printer movement. And now we are going to talk about the future. What's the future in the in the three printers? I'm going to talk about. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> now. No. Bendy, new materials. About the new materials. Okay. We have talked about uh, PLA and ABS. They are two common plastic uh, filaments for the three printers. PLA uh, don't use a, a hot bed. Uh, due to the uh, features of, the, of this filament. Uh, ABS is the one uh, we use. Um, there are several new materials like Bentley, for example, uh, that it, as uh, his name indicates that uh, you can bend the, the figure. And um, for example, nylon. Nylon is uh, it's very resistive, uh, so you can paint Mm, a new new figures with the, with this material, or even labels. Labels, it's a um, it's a mixture between plastic and, and wood. So you can create uh, some 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 pieces uh, similar to 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 the wood. To the wood. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, nowadays uh, the the plastic uh, manufacturer companies are developing some new materials, for example, with carbon, with, uh, carbon, uh, with food. Uh, in the future, uh, the companies want to print food. It's something like nowadays uh, we have seen uh, 3D printers printing chocolate, making some, some, some pieces of chocolate. Mm -hmm. If you want a Batman of chocolate, you can build it and then eat it. Mm -hmm. And you can also make some uh, for exquisite projects uh, that you can use uh, conductive dough, so you could you can use a, a modified a modified uh, extruder in order to build some circuits with uh, with uh, arena yes, with, yeah. with some conductive with materials. some conductive materials. Okay. And we in this in the last uh, week we saw the. A news about the 3D scanning. The 3D scanning allows you to scan your figures and then uh, have a, a, an STL or a, a 3D file in order to print in the uh, later in, in your in your third printer. It's like a turntable, so you can look, you can put the figure in the in the center, and then the sensors uh, will scan the figure. Okay. It's easy, and, but it's not cheaper. <laughs> but uh, in the future, I, it's, yeah. it, it, it is the future for the 3D scanning. In the, not, not downloading the, the file, but mm. 
you can you can scan your own object. If in, in five years we have got cheaper uh, three printer, we think that in two hundred uh, in two thousand and forty uh, fourteen uh, we will have. Uh, cheaper scanners, open source scanners. There are, I think, there are three or four open source scanners, but they don't work uh, very good nowadays. But if the community can improve this, we will have three printers, free three uh, cheaper three printers, and then th uh, cheaper three D scanners. Another improvement is the recycling, the recycling of the filament. There's uh, so. Uh, what, what can we do with the wrong uh, pieces that I own? Uh, I, I must recycle, recycle the, the recycle the plastic and make new filament with, uh, for example, this uh, open source uh, recycler. And also, there's uh, another project that it's a, a pen with a small extruder, and you can you can print on on the air, okay, on, on the way. It's a three dollar. Yeah. And what we will happen in the future with the three printer? As I have I have said, uh, in this year appears this three printer. Is uh, in December we will can see we will buy it. We we will be able to buy it, and it's near four four hundred euros. A professional three printer for for. 100 euros in the last year was 1000 euros mm -hmm. it's very important the evolution of uh, the open hardware three printers because companies think think about this and they make things cheaper other other type of three printer that we will appear appear uh, are uh, resigned. the resigned three printer uh, you have got a projector and the resign, the resign, you project the figure and you build layer by layer in the resign of the 3D printer. Uh, with this, we will be able to see new projects that we have seen this year, but the next year we will be, we'll be able to see more. For example, the first 3D printed car is this. Is uh, All of these pieces is, are printed in a bigger 3D printed. Uh, I think it, it was a month to build, to build it because 3D printer is very slow nowadays. But if we can print a car, what more we can print? For example, houses. Okay, I want to have a house, a design my house, and with a very big 3D printer, we will in future <laughs> we will be able to have our own house uh, building from a 3d printer more projects that we have we can see the last two weeks the NIS and NASA sent a 3d printer to the, to the, to the space mm -hmm. uh, what we can do with a 3d printer in the space repair all this kind of things or uh, that we can't repair in the space that means there are th some three printers that you can print in some uh, hard materials, for example, carbon, and they can repair uh, all the things that they want without sending more people to the space. Other interesting project is this. Yeah, it's the bi bionic uh, hand, and you can you can print the the scan and use uh, and use it as a prosthesis <laughs> prosthesis in the to, to replace your your hand it has been it's, it's a, a proof of concept okay so um, the the medical the health uh, people are, are using the this this uh, this has a, as a proof of concept of moving the the hand with a 3d printer this project started this year uh, one child uh, hasn't got enough money to buy uh, a, medic, a professional hand, and one man with a 3D printer know this this case of this child, and he designed this prototype, and he gave it for free. It's a kind of project uh, that it's very good for the people. It's other um, in 
other more professional things is, for example, medical things. Here we can see. Yeah, here uh, we can see an, an ER. Mm. And of course, uh, you can do it with an open source hardware <laughs> uh, for a cheaper, a cheaper 3D printer. It's more professional because it needs a, a professional filament. Uh, but this is a proof of concept and, and, and also a, a proof of uh, improvement in the, in the medical. Because uh, this, uh, this year uh, works and has been replaced uh, an ER in a, in a patient. So. And other medical application is this. You can, if you broke your your arm, you can print your, uh, the uh, in your in the hospital can scan your arm, and then they can print an special uh, an special thing, <laughs> thing <you see? laughs> to to improve your medical your, your to improve your arm. Yeah. And finally, as I have said, all thing is printing food. <laughs> this the bread is printing with a 3D printer, but uh, a month ago appears that some some chefs are printing hamburger with different ma uh, with different types of material, and um, you can and models. Uh, you can be an artist in the uh, cooking in the cooking. And <laughs> yes, yeah. and no more. We think it is. Yeah, we, we can we can say something about the improvements of the 3D printer because we have said that the commercial 3D printers cannot be improved uh, once uh, you buy once you buy the a commercial 3D printer you the features are the same okay you cannot uh, improve it with this uh, open source uh, 3D printers you can buy it it's a basic 3D printer but uh, the Arduino is uh, the motor uh, you can you can add some features like a display or a second extruder or uh, for example a a k a k path in order to use um, uh, to use it to to select the uh, the file and then print or you can also uh, connect it remotely uh, using a raspberry pi uh, there is a an a project called Octoprint mm -hmm. that allows to to use uh, remotely a 3D printer using the Raspberry Pi through a through a server. Uh, all these kind of things. Sometimes uh, you see this. Uh, the first time that I saw these things, uh, I think, uh, "Whoa, uh, no! I I will be I will be I will buy a, one, a commercial one." I haven't got electronics, for example, I haven't got electronics knowledge, or I am the, the worst building things. <laughs> I don't like Lego, for example. No, if you enter in our website, you can see how to build, the, for example, the Prusa Iteration 3. Here, you have got step by step, you don't, you don't need uh, electronics and uh, knowledge. knowledge, and it's very easy. You only have to got patience, <laughs> and once you have got all the patience, then you can print. And it's the first time that you see some uh, some uh, three printers printing. You are like a child seeing colors and seeing the plastic yeah. doing the figure. Building the the three printer is is easy. It's it wastes uh, a lot of time. Or, uh, maybe you must waste uh, a, a long day in build it. But uh, following the, the step uh, by step tutorial, you can you can uh, you can build it. Hmm. Okay. Uh, as you can see, it's only to use the rods, to the bearings, to screw the hmm. the screws. So, hmm. other link, very important link, is a uh, open source book that a client sent to us is here if you went in our blog you have got the section 3 printer here yeah, campus party <laughs> and you have got here low cost 3d printer it's a free book where you can see all the info about 3d printer in the last year and you can learn a lot a lot about it. Yeah. 
It, it has been released by Marco Senaro from ICTP in, in Italy. Mm. And it has a, a very, very detailed uh, focus in, the, in 3D printer. It's mm. a, a very good, good book to learn if you are interested in the, in the 3D printer process. Mm. And other web page is the RevRap movement where you have got all the info about the open source 3D printer movement. And here, if you search a, a little bit, you can see the Chrome Wars, the Spanish Chrome Wars company, and all the info that you want if you want to buy a 3D printer. Finally, as you can see, we in our company we are also young, so. This uh, the, the entire company is, is here. If you want to, to meet us, <laughs> you can you, you can visit in, in cookinghacks.com and and you can learn more about about us. Mm. And if you want more info about free printer, we have got our forum where you can write and we will be there. And no more. No more. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. And if you have got any questions on something. No. Hey. Uh, I would like to know if the um, Prusa um, iteration three new structure affects in any way the stability because um, I, I know <coughs> the triangular structure from previous models like mm. um, other Prusas. It's because it gives more more stability in order to print um, well, more detailed or, or being able to print faster mm -hmm. to, for fast, faster modeling. I mean, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, does yeah, it yeah. affect uh, the, the printing, the 90 degrees yeah, yeah, structure? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, as, you can, well, as you say, we have over here the, the two, three printer. Yeah. Okay, here. We can see here the first Prusa Mendel have more yes have more has more stability. Uh, the Prusa iteration three uh, you can print again or build with wood or with aluminium uh, some parts to make it a uh, more more more, hard, stable. more, sta more stable. Uh, we have seen that if you print very fast uh, the Z the Z axis move very too much. Yes, is yeah. Okay. But it depends uh, also of the frame. So uh, this is a six millimeter, six millimeter frame. But uh, you can use uh, a frame for one centimeter, for example, and and the stability imp uh, increase hmm. in this case. But as Jorge has said, uh, you can once uh, you have uh, built uh, your own uh, your own 3D printer, you can uh, print uh, some supports for the for this. One. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yes.